Hi, I'm Bill. I'm Lori. And if you're new to the channel, uh, thank you for dropping in. So we're coming to you tonight from Sky Valley, California. We're about uh, 10 miles outside of the Palm Springs, Desert Hot Springs area here in the mountains at the um, Sky Valley RV Resort. Very nice park. Uh, tonight we're just going to make a basic pizza. So Lori, why don't you uh, take it away? So today we stopped by Whole Foods and we're using their pizza dough and it's uh, it doesn't have a brand, it's just their generic pizza that they use to make their pizzas. So it's been out for a little over I'll an hour. That. I might need a little bit more flour. Okay. Just okay. And uh, seems pretty nice. And we're working with our mobile setup. So, uh, and uh, I see that the light's going down uh, over the mountains. So uh, we might be a little bit uh, underexposed, but we'll see how it all turns out. Well, this dough isn't as soft as the Terra Nova that we've used before from Whole Foods in our area. So, and there were no directions on how to handle this. So I just, Put it out for about an hour. It's very stretchy. I mean, it really wants to go back to its original shape. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can stretch it out a little bit by just using gravity. Well, that's not working out. And too well. uh, to our two neighbors uh, from down the road here, who from Minnesota, who stopped by uh, to say hello. Thanks for stopping by. We enjoyed chatting <laughs> with you. Yeah. This pizza dough is very... We'll see how this works out. Oh, not too bad after I did that. Well, we'll, we'll see how this is going to work out. Because it really wants to go back to its original shape. So I'm going to have to really stretch it out. Yeah, we were just going to make one larger pizza, which would have left just a little bit of dough. And then we would have made a really small pizza. But uh, it seems there was a change in plans on Lori's part to make them uh, equal size. So. No, no, this is bigger than the other one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Then maybe we could have used the whole ball, huh? No, because they make... They make a big... Uh, yeah, they make like 18 or 20 inch yeah. Uh, pies. Yeah. So we've had very good weather here, except for some uh, heavy winds uh, at night. Uh, those of you familiar with the uh, desert areas, uh, you know that that's not unusual to have uh, wow. sometimes high winds. And we did manage to get over to Joshua Tree. The Joshua Tree National uh, Park is about 40 minutes uh, to the east of here. Um, Okay. And that was a nice way to spend a day, although it was a little chilly out there. Um, yeah, we thought it was going to be desert. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is about as best as I can do. I think it just kind of wants to spring back. Yeah, well, we'll see how it works. Oh. Okay. And this is uh, shredded whole milk mozzarella. Yep. And we're using some, some uh, uh, really pepper. found a nice bell pepper. Yeah. Red pepper. Red pepper. Oh, red pepper? Mm-hmm. So is a red pepper also a bell pepper? A red pepper, a green pepper is a red, I mean, is an unripened pepper. Uh-huh. Okay. So I thought used, they were bell peppers because of their shape. I guess that's not the case. No. Well, bell pepper, I kind of think of it as the green ones. And they ripe, uh, they pick them when they're not ripe, and then they... I'm going to move this uh, down here, and okay. some more cheese. And this is the point where Lori generally says, Bill likes That's cheese, cheese on, on... On the top of his <laughs> toppings. Toppings. Okay. Well, hopefully this okay. one's Okay, going to go like that. Yep. Let's see how this works. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we'll pull this way. Okay. Oh, maybe we could stretch it out this way. 
Okay. Is that good enough? Yeah. Okay, it moves. That's a good start. Okay. And uh, we'll be using the Uni 14-inch uh, uh, metal peel to uh, turn and retrieve tonight. And Bill, like usual, forgot to turn the oven down. Normally what I try to do, but sometimes I forget, is I like to warm the oven up for 20 minutes. And then when Lori starts to press out the pizza, I like to turn it down to the uni low setting. But I forgot to do that. So we're gonna have a little bit of char. <laughs> but look at how the... <laughs> how much rise we're getting out yeah. of that, yeah. Like a real Neapolitan. <laughs> I guess that's, maybe that's the way it is. <laughs> I think it's... Wow. <laughs> <Look at that>. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, okay. It's a little different than our normal. Yeah. We usually use a dough that's, you know, pretty soft and very easy to stretch. So this is kind of our new experience. And RBI V25, we left our standard rack at home, but this we're improvising this. It's from an air fryer. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, so let's see if this camera can uh, pick that up. Um, uh. What, I forgot what they call it, a cornichon. Wow. <laughs> wow, I did not expect that. Uh, could you put that uh, cutting board maybe on the uh, steps over there? Okay. For now. Okay. Well, I was wondering if the pizza might be too, <laughs> <laughs> too big for that This rack. is like a bouffant, you know, like uh, that's... <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, you know, <laughs> that is. Wow, that's way different. I wonder what would have happened if I put sauce more to the side or something. Okay, we're going to let it cool for a second, and then we'll be right back. Well. All right, time for the taste test. I think I'm going to step over here. Awesome. So, very tasty. The dough is good. Um, I'm it's not really sure. It's full of air. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's cooked through. It's more like um, a Neapolitan. So, um, actually, it's the dough isn't raw or anything, and a little bit of char. So, we're back to the char. <laughs> I thought I had moved on from the char, but um, okay, Lori. Well, what's your thoughts on the dough? And actually, I'm surprised at how light it is. It's very lots of gas was in the dough, so it really. It was a little diff more difficult than usual to stretch it out because it's really, really stretchy. Wanted to retract. Is that indicative of a lot of gluten? No gluten? I think it means there's a lot more gluten and a lot more gluten. But uh, I don't know. I think it came out okay. Okay. Well, we have a second pie. Uh, we're going to do that offline, and maybe we'll tack it on to the end of this video. But um, if you like this kind of uh, Content. Content. 
<laughs> Bill. <laughs> and I haven't even had any wine tonight. Uh, so if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, we welcome new subscribers. And it's your comments and questions that really drive the channel. Um, and uh, we'd just like to thank all our subscribers for sticking with us, as well as viewers that just drop in from time to time to check out our videos. We really appreciate that. Um, other I than, just wanted to show the rise oh, on this. Yeah, you can probably show it in that camera there. Oh, yeah, look. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this kind of surprised us because we did the Terra Nova before, which was a Whole Foods uh, uh, ready-made pizza dough as well. Uh, and it turned out a little bit different, but again, um, it's still tasty. Uh, it is. Okay. Well, uh, thanks again for dropping into the channel. Uh, other than that, mm -hmm. till next time. And so, so goodbye from 12th Avenue Cuisine in Palm Springs. Uh, actually, Sky, Sky Valley, Valley Resort. Yes. Cheers. <laughs>